on all of our records, we always try to just think of things as like uh, a hit single. Like what's the hit single? Like just, uh, you know, track one. We were in a really uh, heavy kind of Rundgren 70s phase for a while and like the end of our last album, Star Power, like towards the end of that time period is when this was written. And we could have put it on that album, but I think we were like, let's do this, let's have this be the next sort of direction because this one sound, would sound really good with like a very clean 70s production rather than a home recorded like mess. So, all right, so we recorded the song twice. It's the only track that we recorded twice. We did a, a version one with Stephen Drozd from the Flaming Lips playing drums. And it was really good, but it wasn't, wasn't quite the vibe that we were going for. So we, we did it again live with Brian and Michael from the Lemon Twigs. Michael playing, he's playing Hal Blaine's drum set. Like they have Hal Blaine's drum set, his rototoms. Brian playing bass and me playing keyboard. So there's the keyboard, that's doubled. Uh, I did, I overdubbed a Rhodes on top of the Wurlitzer. Wurlitzer's left, Rhodes is right. The harpsichord that you hear there, that's, uh, Stephen Drose played that on the previous version that we had done. But he was already gone by then, so what I did is I sampled those hits onto an MPC and replayed them. There's a lot of keyboards, so what's going on? There's like a little string cello setting on an Arp Selena playing the... So that, oh, and there's an upright piano. So I'm playing an upright, and then Brian from the Lemon Twigs comes in with grand piano. Stereo grand piano. Mono upright. Strings. Sorry, I'm getting over a cold too, so everything's like Sounds sniffly. Great. I'm yelling probably as well. It's am I screaming? <laughs> no, you're good. I might be screaming. That's yeah. kind of funny though if yeah. I am, so let leave it in. Let's delve into the drum yeah. sounds. It's how I said it's five rototoms. We recreated it for the live show. This old Kent snare that they had there that was like a it's almost like a child's like play drum. And then what I did is it didn't feel fat enough, like when we recorded it, it didn't feel fat enough. So I took a lindrum and I triggered the lindrum and pitched it uh, with the snare. So I triggered it with the snare and then I recorded it back onto another channel on the tape machine. And then that's just blended there. Which sounds, it sounds like by itself a little stupid, but when you bring in everything else, it just pops, which is really nice. So yeah, let's pull up the orchestral. Yeah, so, so Trey Pollard and Matthew E. White, the, these guys that run a Space Bomb in Virginia, um, they did the arrangements and we recorded all this stuff in a different studio in Virginia. And then when we mixed, we had the orchestra shit on, on one reel of tape and then the rock band stuff on another reel and we had two tape machines simptied together. Like we did vocals, everything at Vox in, in LA, and then we sent those recordings over to Trey, and he wrote the arrangements on top. Yeah, we had to sum a lot of stuff together, so it's like all the trumpets are on one track, all the trombone, you know, horns are just spread, I think, like high brass, low brass, like high strings, low strings, over 16 tracks of tape. Yeah, just the single like stereo stem of these strings sound really good, you know? I think like not having endless options with things is what creates like magic in recordings. Like that's kind of what's beautiful about it, you know? You can't, it's the moment and it's just there. So on this track too, there's a eight string bass. So we did the whole record on tape. We recorded over Brian's bass for like the first minute of the song. And so I had to patch it in. And so you can hear this pretty blatant cut 
where it's like totally different basses and totally different bass styles. Vocals. Hey baby, you know it's true. I'm in love with you, babe, but you yeah, never. That's all Sam. All those background no, vocals are Sam. All recorded with a yeah, 87, like an old 87. Yes, oh, and when we mix it, we sent that through you, a chamber. There's some punching, you know, there's a little bit of like, so far, like, like that, you hear that? Like that's a little, so far, like that little. <laughs> else. You know, so you can far, hear that little, you can hear that little punch. Most of the guitars, I did all the electric guitar on the album, and then uh, Brian did all the acoustic. Pretty much all the acoustic, I think. Um, he was gonna play electric guitar on it too, but I was like, I think Brian's like one of the best guitar players I've ever seen in my life. Like he's just, he can do anything. And it would be, if he did all the electric guitar, it would be like really authentic. But I don't really know what I'm doing with guitar, and it has like a sound that is rough around the edges. Me doing all of my like, you know, ignorant keyboard guitar stuff on top of that, I think is a really nice combo. It's, it's a little sandwich is what it is. It's the tight bottom of the lemon twigs just being like so locked in. A lot of me in the center, uh, you know, putting little, little things and guitars and synth and stuff and then the orchestra on top that is also tight as hell. So it's, I think it's a neat little, it's a neat little sandwich. Awesome, well that was fun.